OnePlus is all set to unveil the OnePlus 11 series in China tomorrow and so far we have already gathered a lot of information about the phone thanks to the leaks and we were recently able to get a hands-on look at the live unit of the device too. Today let's review all of the details we have learned about the phone and take a closer look at the device. Let's start with the unboxing experience. For your information, this is just a leaked video that shows of the phone being unboxed. As you can see, the box is completely red this time with number 11 printed on the top left corner of the device. There's also a Hasselblad text engraved in the box which indicates their collaboration with OnePlus for the camera units. Inside the box, first you will see the phone itself. Other than that, the main stuffs here include a 100W charger and a Type-C cable. There's also a small package containing some documentations and a transparent silicon case. And now let's check out the phone itself. Now at the first glance, the phone is looking quite similar to the OnePlus devices we have seen in the past few years. There's a glass bag that is curved on the edges. The phone has a large circular model on the bag that is attached to the edges of the frame. The circular module houses a triple camera sensors and an LED flash. We can see the Hasselblad text engraved too. The camera unit of the phone looks quite large and sure to be noticed by anyone who sees it first. According to leaked videos, the phone will be available in black and green color options. The front of the phone has a punch hole cutout located in the top left corner of the display. The edges of the phone appear to be slightly curved, although some previous renders have shown the phone with flat edges. The screen has narrow bezels on all four corners. The volume rocker is located on the left side of the phone while the power button and LED slider are on the right edge. The bottom of the phone has a Type-C port and a speaker grills and a SIM tray. Now let's discuss the main specifications. The OnePlus 11 is expected to feature a 6.7 inch QHD plus E4 AMOLED display with a higher refresh rate of 120Hz, a 2K resolution of 3216 into 1440 pixels and a support for HDR10+. It is likely to be powered by the Qualcomm Snapdragon 8 Gen 2 SoC which will be paired with up to 16GB of LPDDR5X RAM and 512GB of UFS 4.0 storage. That will not be expandable. The phone is expected to run on Android 13 based Oxygen OS out of the box. OnePlus has confirmed that the phone includes its self-developed super graphics engine which allows for higher frame rates and native image quality. A leaked video of the phone also revealed the phone's gaming performance while playing a Chinese game by Jenishin, although I don't know what the game is. The phone was able to maintain an average frame rate of around 59.7 FPS after 30 minutes of gameplay. The phone's heating mechanism is also expected to be impressive as it was able to maintain a body temperature of 25 degrees Celsius during the gameplay. The smartphone is expected to have a large battery capacity of 5000 mAh and support for fast charging at 100 w A leaked video showed that the phone can be fully charged in approximately 25 minutes only. As we have seen in the unboxing clip, it will come with a charging brake and a protective case in the box itself. As for the cameras, OnePlus has confirmed that all three sensors on the OnePlus 11 will be Sony flagship sensor. The main camera will be a 50 megapixel shooter with a Sony IMX890 sensor. There will also be a 48 megapixel ultra wide lens and a 32 megapixel IMX709 2x portrait sensor with an RGBW arrangement to increase the amount of light entering the lens. The front camera will be a 16 megapixel sensor for selfies and video calls. The camera performance can only be accurately judged once the phone is officially launched and for now we can only go by the listed specifications. One more thing that OnePlus is focusing on with that OnePlus 11 is the vibration motor for the haptic feedback. The company claims to be using a bionic vibration motor that is stronger and more responsive than previous models. Definitely a good vibration motor is a highly sought after feature for many users and it would be great if the OnePlus 11 sees a significant improvements in this area. Last but not the least, the phone is expected to have an IP54 rating for water and dust resistance, no IP67 rating sadly. So that's it for this video, we hope you enjoyed our roundup on the OnePlus 11. Don't forget to like and subscribe to stay up to date on the latest tech reviews and releases. Let us know in the comments what you thought about the OnePlus 11 and what other devices you would like to see us review in the next few days. Thanks for tuning in and we will see you in the next one.